So hello everyone, and、uh, welcome to our、um, preview to this new Fusion 360、um, experience. More around、um, data management and、uh, data access. So I have here with me today、uh, Bonkim. Hey Kaching, hi everyone.、I'm、very excited to be here. We've been working on this for the last few months. So we can't wait until we release this and you can play with it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, like you guys, I'm new to this experience too. So this will be the the first time I'm seeing this.、Um, so Bonkum has、uh, has been working on this for a while. So he's gonna walk me through、um, what what this new experience is like. So I'm pretty excited.、Uh, so Bonkum, I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna log in and then yeah, we'll go from there. Well, okay, so. Notice that now、um, I get into Fusion and it's the design environment right away. So I don't see the dashboard anymore, huh? So where where did that go? So if you look to the top left of the product, there's a new icon for opening your data pane.、Ah. You click on it, and it brings up a list of all your projects and、oh, all the、cool. data that lives in each one of the projects. So here's your Fusion LX Designs project, everything that's in there.、Oh, all right. Right, so you know, this is your new data headquarters. So anything you want to do with your data, you're going to do it here. So if you look at the top of this panel, you have Fusion LX Design, and there's a drop down next to it. Yeah. So that's how you actually switch between your projects.、Ah. So here's all the projects that you're a member of. So if you just switch to another one of them, you'll be able to see all the data in that. In that project. Oh, very cool. Okay, and they're organized by folders too, so I can go into these folders. Um, and what are the what are the icons at the top here? What is this? So those are the icons that allow you to do with your project, right? So the first one it's a head that allows you to see who the project members are in this project. So here I see Mike Aubrey is a member of this project. That's great. And you can also invite new people. So why don't you put my name in there? Invite me to this and、okay. we'll work on.、This. And I got an invitation over here.、So、awesome. Okay. Once I accept the invitation, my head will show up there. So okay. So I'll, I'll do that while we look at some other things. Yeah. 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 So this is how you look at all your data and you navigate, right? So if you double click into designs here, you'll be able to enter. You know, go into a folder a level deeper. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Design, and then you see the little breadcrumb bar pop up there, so you can always go back up that way. So now, right? If you if you have this untitled design, you wanted to start out and you wanted to pick something up that you were working on before. Let's say you wanted to open up that grill to work on.、Mm -hmm. uh, you can just go over there. You can either double click to open it, or you can right click on it to see what else you can do on it. Okay, and that design opens up. So another thing you can do is right click on it,、yeah. and you'll also get an open command there. Ah,、uh, okay,、uh, yeah. A couple of other interesting commands. So you can insert. Documents from the side pane into anything that's open already.、Mm -hmm. You can create a toolpath from it, or、mm -hmm. you can share a public link, upload, rename, delete, etc. So we'll, we'll get into some of those other ones in a bit, right?、Okay. So you open the design. Now, if you look at the activity feed, you can open it up. It's at the bottom of your window right now. And since this is a new design, there isn't any activity here. Why don't you leave a comment for me, and I'll, I'll work on it when I get a chance. Okay, I see.、Uh, I see that. Just made a comment. All right, cool. And so I'll get the comment, and it'll also show up in the activity feed of our project. So speaking of which, there is still the full dashboard, right? All of your data is still on the web. You can access it anywhere, anytime. There's the mobile app to access it, etc. So let's just quickly take a look at how that works, right? Okay. So you see the project icon right next to the invite icon at the top of the data panel?、Uh, okay. Yeah, this one. Click on it, and it'll bring us to this project on the web in the full dashboard. Okay. Ah, okay. This this is pretty familiar. Yeah. So the comment you just made showed up in there. You see your designs. You see the recent data. So it's all here. You just you can come here when you want to, or you can just work in the tool when all you want to do is work with your data. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. That we're doing. We're separating these two,、uh, I guess, environments so that I can focus more on my designs. Right? Is that kind of the, the thought here? Exactly. And、Great. like, if like some, you know, a lot of our users who have multiple monitors,、yeah. you can keep 
object information open in a browser on a second monitor while you keep you know your modeling tool as your focus on your primary monitor okay great great let's try another cool thing if you go use the breadcrumbs to go back up a level outside this design folder back up to your design team there we go so the, the third icon you have at the top is a search so if you just generally knew that you had a propane bottle in here but you just don't know where it is just type in propane mm. one result found nice so now you don't even have to search you know actually navigate a lot of folders to find your data you can just quickly use search now you can right click on this thing and insert it oh there we go perfect just came now in you so quickly let you position it and then that'll just insert the new item in there that's awesome we created this we made a change to this grill design and we've added the propane thing to it mm -hmm. uh, so why don't we go create a new design from this so if you go to the file menu we can do a save as uh, oh this one this is a little okay yes right on right next to the grid the little grid icon for the panel so if you click on that, you'll see all the choices you have for this document. Yeah. So let's do a save as. Save as, okay. Oh, nice. All right. This is new, too. New save dialog that allows you to pick which project you want to save this in. So you might want, you could save it in another project if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Or you create a new project or create a new folder right on the fly so that you can save it in a new location of your choice. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Tags, anything to make searching for it a little bit easier, and then you can just save it. Perfect. Great. Oh, and I see that it's being populated right now in the design and in my uh, data panel here. That's correct. So anything that you do will show up right away. Anything that others in your project might be working on, you can quickly click, click refresh, and other changes from other people will show up. Oh man, that's awesome. That's super convenient. Uh, we have export down as one command. It used to be a couple of different commands now. Now from one command, you can quickly export this design. You can pick a few standard formats like I just step, or you can pick the full Fusion archive and mm. save it out. Mm -hmm. So another thing we could look at is uploading data. So before you would go to the dashboard, and go to the upload data command and there you would see two different ways of you are either uploading data or importing data so just having those two different things was a little confusing so we've streamlined all that you have one command here in the side panel that allows you to upload data so if you bring that up that is going to allow you to drag and drop files here or you can use the select file widget to bring up a file browsing dialog pick some files from your local system and it's going to upload all of them to the cloud and translate them so you have a fusion item ready to work on in a couple minutes. So you know as you go from machine to machine your profile information follows you right so if you set up default so that you want to use millimeters you go to a new machine start a new design it starts out in millimeters so all your profile information synced to the web so we decided that when we reorganize some of these commands we wanted to make sure that it was clear that your profile information is associated with your account. Yes. So if you go to your account on the right hand side here, top right. Okay. Ah, all right. You'll see your preferences right there along with your profile, etc. So hopefully that makes it really clear that any changes you make here, you can count on those changes showing up on any number of machines that you're working on. As long as you log in, log in as Kiching Song, all of your preferences go with you. That's great. Okay, that is great to know. And uh, I'm going to click cancel. I also noticed that you can now toggle offline. Oh, good catch. Absolutely. So another piece of feedback that we have heard from a lot of users is there is a difference between having a connection and having a good connection, right? A lot of our users use Fusion on the road. They might be using it on a plane with a pretty weak Google connection, mm -hmm. or they might be at a Starbucks where someone else is watching Netflix and hogging all the bandwidth. So in those cases, their experience wasn't always the best. So we have put in a new command that allows you to toggle and work offline. So what that does nice. is it gives you access to all your locally cached files. So you can create new designs from scratch, or you can open cache files, which is typically any design or toolpath that you worked on in the last two weeks will be cached locally. You can work on those uh, for that however long you're offline. And once you come back online, all of your data will get synced back to the cloud as a new version. 
Gotcha. Okay, that is super useful. I'm so glad we did that. Awesome. Well, thank you, Bonkim, for walking through all of that. I think uh, a lot of what you just showed would be super useful for all our users to, to go through. We'll be coming out with this release very soon, probably early September. Um, so... Uh, yeah, be on the lookout and we'll definitely let you know when it does via our blogs, our social channels. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Let us know what you guys think. Thanks, Bonkim. All right, my pleasure. Thanks, Hichang. Thanks.